Hey everyone, in this lesson, we're gonna add one last piece of functionality, and that is to allow our user to choose a lot more different colors. To do that, we're gonna need another row, or maybe we can have multiple rows of colors below this, so that our user has a lot of options. But that's gonna take up a lot of the screen space, and we wanna have our user have a large canvas to draw on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a button that's gonna show all of our colors, and then we can also click that same button to hide all of our cover colors so that the canvas can stay as wide as possible so that our user can draw whatever they'd like to draw. To do that, we're first gonna need another row of colors. So I'm gonna grab that first. So I'm gonna go to row here and I'm gonna just add the row in and I want this row to be right above our other uh, row, right above the slider and right below the other row. So perfect. Great, and this row, I'm gonna add a bunch of buttons on there. So I'm just gonna add the buttons first. And we're gonna just throw in like four more buttons. And now I'm gonna name them. So the first one will be pink. And I'll call it pink button. The next one will be green. So we'll call it green button. And I'll make it say green on here. The next one will be purple, and we'll call this purple button. And the last one will be orange. And we'll make it say orange. Now all I need to do is add, is change the size of this row. So if I go over here, I can change the height and change it to fill contents. Great. And now what I really want to do is I want to make all of this, every single piece of this, I want to make them all inside of another column, or I could just tell a button to show and hide both of them. But because I might want to have three, lit, uh, three rows or four rows or five rows of buttons, right? what I'm going to want to do is just really make sure at the end of the day that uh, it's gonna work out so that I can just hit the button and it'll make everything inside disappear. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another button. And this one's gonna go in between my top row and the, uh, and the switch section, so right around here. Great, and then I'm gonna put these rows inside of a column, all right? So, and just so you know, this button's gonna be our show colors button. Right, and I'm gonna write show, show colors. Great. All right, so now I'm gonna grab a column to put those rows inside of there. And it's easier if I throw it here. Great, and I'm gonna throw the first row inside this column and the second row inside of this column. Great, now they're both in there. I can change the height to be fill contents. And I'm gonna change the name of this column just so I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call this the um, colors column. Cool. Great, so now what I need to do is I need in the block to say when the show colors button is clicked, you know, make this colors column visible. And not, if not, make it invisible. And maybe we wanna change this text to say hide colors. So that, I'm gonna leave that as a challenge for you. If you're really stuck with this, you can go ahead and look at my code below, but I wanna see if you can do it on your own because it should at the end look like this. So you hit the button and it shows all the colors. If you hit hide colors, it will hide all your colors. I hope you enjoyed making this painting app and in the next lesson, we're gonna start making a timer app. So I'll see you there.